Hello, and welcome to Surprise by Mo Pesola. Okay, let's do this again. It's been a while. <laughs> hey there, everybody. My name is Logan. And I'm Jen. And this is Surprise by Marriage. Whoa, guess what? We have some news for you. Uh, very revealing information. Marriage is hard. <laughs> Thought we were going somewhere else with that. No, um, marriage is hard. Right, babe? Yes, and it's easy to forget that the purpose of marriage is not to make us happy but it's to make us holy oh okay i was like where are you coming with that oh sorry um (laughs) and just in case we haven't made this very clear by now we do not have the perfect marriage not at all we're gonna start with that we fight a lot and we still have our issues but we have still Gain what? No, just listen to you okay. say everything bad about our marriage. We're not perfect. We fight a lot. Okay. We've still gained a sense of contentment within our marriage, um, even though we don't have a perfect marriage, and we never will have a perfect marriage. But Let's so. not confuse that with complacency right. in marriage. Yes. Contentment is definitely different than complacency. You don't want to be complacent in your marriage at all. That would be bad. But contentment in marriage is a good thing. Yeah. And we're going to share some thoughts on how we've reached that point in our marriage. I'm excited. Let's talk about it because I would love to know the reasons why. (laughs) You don't know? Well, I don't know. Let's find out. The first thing that you need to remember is to focus on the good. A.K.A. gratitude. Gratitude. Which I suck at, by the way. (laughs) She said it. (laughs) You weren't going to disagree. Oh my gosh. No, gratitude has played a big part and being content because it's very easy to look at all the things you don't have or the things that your spouse is doing wrong but it's you have to focus on the good yeah because when you live when you live when your mind lives in the negative and it's always dark you're gonna always think dark so turn that light on keep it on stay in the positive think good happy thoughts and you can fly you can fly you know, like Peter Pan. You think happy thoughts, you can fly. Happy Your marriage will fly if you think happy <laughs> thoughts. So focus on the good. Yeah. I thought this next point was really fascinating when I found this out. Although maybe it might not make you feel better. It made me feel better. But the Gottman Institute does research on marriages. And they actually say that most, like statistically, most marital conflicts will never be resolved. Which maybe sound depressing, but if you accept the fact that like you're never going to reach a resolution, then maybe you can stop fighting about it. Yeah, like the whole situation <laughs> when I first got married with the garbage can and taking it out. You yes. Know, you know, she always fussed at me to take the garbage out, take the garbage out. Well, I kind of get distracted doing other things, and well, then I eventually can just take the garbage out myself, which did. is so, what yeah. I do now. Yeah. yeah. So some <laughs> arguments are whatever. Right. Like are said. obviously more complicated than the garbage can but yeah. well there's a small sample of it for you. <laughs> this next thing we actually did a video on don't watch you it need though to... <laughs> it's one of our first few so it's very entertaining but we're still going to put it up here for you <laughs> no, to click and watch no, yes we are not. anyway you cannot change your spouse i mean that's the person you picked so you should have <laughs> known that before you got married she definitely knew that when we got married. But Did I? you can't change your spouse. What I mean by that is you need to work on yourself. Like, stop realizing what what she or he is not doing for you. And, and think about in what ways can you change so that you're not putting yourself in situations that you always feel like you got to butt heads. And- yes. Well, I'll just explain. In the beginning of our marriage, I thought he was doing everything wrong, which obviously it takes two people to be not happy in a marriage and I had plenty of things I was doing wrong but it wasn't until I stopped trying to change him and I worked on myself that things got better that makes me sound ditto ditto yeah I did the exact same thing (laughs) did you? I did see and the last point that we want to make with regards to contentment in marriage It's to use a little analogy that a friend of ours, a good friend, a priest friend, laid out that, you know, really allowed us to step back and look at it from a different perspective. And that is that your marriage is an appetizer. Yeah, he said this, like, really passingly, but I was just thinking about it, and it's so true. Like, we weren't created 
to be here. We were created for Jesus. Yes, we were created to be in heaven. So our marriage is just a small little, small little taste of what we're going to experience in heaven. Because, yes, we're married. We are spouses. But our true spouse is Jesus in heaven. And so this is just preparation for that. Right. So, you know, just remember your appetizer is... is uh, Not going to fill you up. <laughs> there you go. It might give you a bad taste sometimes, but it still, it still serves the purpose of... <laughs> feeding you and mm -hmm. feeding your soul before you can reach Heaven. your heavenly spouse in Jesus. Yes. Right. So we hope these little tips that we had and this little revelation that we had with regards to being content in your marriage were helpful. Remember, focus on the good. Gratitude. Gratitude. You know. Um, two. two. Most conflicts will never be resolved in your marriage. Yeah. Number three, you can't change your spouse. Work on yourself, okay, and see what you can do to make the situation better. Mm -hmm. And number four, your marriage is just an appetizer for the main dish that is heaven. And, you know, That's I can't it. wait. Yeah. yeah, I can't wait either. No offense. None taken. <laughs> so anyway, we hope you enjoyed this video. Please be sure to follow us on Facebook, like us on Instagram, check out our everything above. And below. Below. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Bye.